Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, the 28th of May, 2021. Happy Memorial Day weekend. This is your weekender update version. I know I've been light on the videos and I apologize for that, but I've been busting out like 30 plus pieces a day. Probably going to up that game to 40 or 50 this weekend. I am working Memorial Day weekend, so crack a cold one for me because I will be here. But tomorrow morning, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get in a spray session for you guys, too, and it's going to be a fun one, um, one that I've been looking forward to filming. That's all I'm going to say about it. But it should be fun, so hopefully I'll be able to get that out early next week to you guys. But I'm going to get right into this. Um, pieces that are going to be coming down to Texas with us on the Ketchco Buca side of things. I've got a couple of different styles of these peacock bass that I've been spraying. Um, some of them, like this one, is got an underlayer that was originally the Ketchco Baby Bullshed Emerald Shiner. So on those, let's see if I can find a example where you can see it. There is some gold foiling underneath of that, which really shines when it's coming through the water. I like that a lot. Yeah, of course I have dirty hands. Been working since six o'clock this morning. Um, I'm filming this around 7.30. So. And then we've got a little fluorescent red on the belly, which I really like doing on these peacock bass. And then some darker red to contrast on the peck fin and then your general coloration. And then I'm shooting a little bit of red on the tails. It's just a transparent red. Yes, that's gonna come off um, through, you know, fishing it, swimming it after a while, um, but it is gonna be on there for your first few casts. I know you guys see these up here. I'm sure you've been like staring intently at them. I made three in addition to um, the one that went to Gus and Swim Bait Culture for the autism awareness. Those tickets, I don't know if there's any of them left, but it's autism awareness um, through swim bait culture. So find swim bait culture on Facebook and get up with Gus and those guys, and they're going to tell you all about the raffle for autism. It's all funds donated for the families and uh, folks involved with autism awareness and the children and pretty much people of all ages that are working and living with autism on, on the daily. So, but these three right here, one is staying in the shop. Uh, Mike asked me to make one so that we can display it here at the Bullshad shop. And then these two are gonna be donated to a couple of people at the Bassmaster Classic. Um, those folks are heavily involved with autism as well. So, very excited to be a part of that and thank you thank you thank you for getting me involved i had a blast painting that so you can go back and see a close-up of me i'm not going to rehash this it's a cool pattern um, but i do have a pretty good close-up of it on the last update just showing you what we've got going on that's going to be headed down to texas with me you guys have seen these green sunfish before on this crappy um I don't know if you guys can see the glitter on this, or actually, I guess it's the glaze. So this is the green version of that firefly glaze, or the dragonfly glaze, rather. And it, you, pretty much what I'm doing with this, and I'm gonna show you real quick as I talk through this, is I'm, I've got a glaze that's very inexpensive that I talked about briefly through, um, folk art and you can pick them up at walmart um I, I would imagine the super centers have them but these glazes are really good and when you thin them with airbrush medium they shoot really well um very cool you can pick this up at blick online um you can just look for this online i don't have a direct link but i know that blick arts online does sell this so you can get it through the mail might be able to pick it up at Amazon if I can find it. And before I upload this video, I'll drop a link in the description for you guys. Um, super impressed with this. And I normally don't use any kind of folk art or the lower end acrylic, not because it's not worthy and it's not a good acrylic, but it's just not suitable for airbrush. It's not light fast, it's not waterproof. But this stuff is really, really good. And it's just a glaze. So when you're looking at it, Boy, this thing really sparkles. And it's just a little extra step to give your bait a little bit more pizzazz and pop to it. 
So real happy with how those are turning out. This is that Golden Crispy that I was featuring on Facebook yesterday. Just a couple of these. This is a very simple color, that olive green, a little bit of blue in the belly, down to a yellowish orange. This is a canary yellow, parakeet yellow, I'm sorry. And that's through, um, and I like this shade, that's through the FW line of inks for Dale Rowney. Another big one. Now these have to go back into the clear coat. They've only had two coats. They need to get two more. Um, one little helpful tip for you guys if you're just starting out in resin baits. Bring your clear coat just across the edge of the sections. And that's going to help keep that on there regardless of who has made your baits. Whether it's ABS plastic, swim bait, or a resin bait, it will absolutely help keep that on there. And it's, I mean, all paint gets knocked off eventually, but if you want to preserve it just a little bit longer. And then last, but certainly not least, I've got another version of this peacock slash perch. Um, starts out as basically a fire tiger pattern, but it could also be called the rostopee. I did a rostopee for the gathering and it was a big hit. So I had a lot of fun with that. But this is pretty much the same deal here. You've got that green into yellow into that real cool red and this is transparent because these are clear when I get them from Ketchco um, and they are unfortunately not available on the market to buy. But it's always something that you could send Ketchco a, a suggestion of. So but I've been getting a lot of requests for customs and can I please get clear? So I certainly gave them the ask and they certainly said yes. So thank you, Ketchco, for that. That is all the news that's fit to print. If you guys are out on the water this weekend, please be careful. Have fun. Don't trash up your fishing hole. If you're boating and you want to drink, please make sure you're not driving the boat. Where are your PDFs? PFDs. PDFs, that's Adobe. You don't need that on the water. Just your flotation device. Wear a life jacket, folks. And as always, I appreciate the view. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on the channel today. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Again, I'm going to do my very, very best to come in super early Saturday morning while you guys are funning and sunning on Memorial Day weekend. And I'm going to shoot a video for you guys. And it might have something to do with these cool eyes from Dead Meat Custom. Woo woo! Or yee yee! America. Have a great day. See you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.